What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another video. So I do want to apologize, I currently am on vacation and I don't have my complete desk set up with me so the audio quality isn't going to be what it normally is so I do apologize for that. Uh, but I will be returning back to my normal setup within a few days but there is some new news in the world of jailbreaking that I definitely wanted to cover for you guys so you guys know what's going on. Uh, but anyways, we're going to first, we're going to jump into Safari here, and we're going to take a look at the security content of the newest version of iOS 12, which is 12.1.3. Now, if we go ahead and swipe down here, as you guys will see, there are some kernel level patches that came out in 12.1.3, and uh, a few of them are from Google Project Zero. Ian Beer, as you can see here. Uh, impact. A malicious application may cause unexpected changes in memory shared between processes. Uh, there's a lot of really good kernel um, level uh, exploits that were patched within 12.1.3. As you can see, here's another one from Ian Beer that's from Google Project Zero. Uh, an application may be able to execute arbitrary code with kernel privileges. And there's another one here by Brandon Azad of Google Project Zero as well. As you can see the same thing, impact a malicious application may be able to de determine kernel memory layout. Uh, there's some big, big exploits. Here's another one here by um, Jan Horn of Google Project Zero. <clears throat> so as you guys can see, a lot of uh, kernel level exploits were uh, patched within 12.1.3. And if we go ahead and jump over to Twitter, uh, as you can see, we are uh, looking at Brandon Azad, and he is part of Google Project Zero. And as you can see with this tweet here, if you're interested in bootstrapping iOS kernel security research, including the ability to forge PACs and call arbitrary kernel functions, keep an A, uh, keep an A12 research device on 12.1.2. Uh, so this is kind of hinting at a um, exploit being released. If you guys didn't know. Uh, Google Project Zero is pretty much the reason we've had jailbreaks for iOS 10 and iOS 11, so it's looking like we will have uh, exploits coming for iOS 12, which could lead to a jailbreak. So my advice to you guys, depending on what firmware you are on, if you're on 12.1.3, downgrade now to 12.1.2 or even 12.1.1. I believe both of those versions of iOS are still being signed. So like I said, I would definitely downgrade. Uh, if you're on a lower version of iOS 12 than that, just stay there. Um, my iPhone XS Max is currently on iOS 12.0 and I will not be updating to 12.1.2. I'm just gonna stay on the lowest version possible because these exploits should work for anything that's lower than 12.1.2. So that's pretty much iOS 12.0, 12.0.1, 12 so on and so forth, up to 12.1.2. But like I said, uh, these these kernel level bugs are patched within 12.1.3, so definitely be on a lo lower version. Uh, these exploits may be coming out soon, which, like I said, could lead to a iOS 12 jailbreak. Uh, but anyways, like I said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. A quick jailbreak update for you. Again, I'm sorry I'm on vacation and the audio quality sucks, uh, but I will be back to my normal uh, setup, so stay tuned. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.